Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Games and Reviews coming back with a brand new video. Thought about doing something else on the channel. Uh, you guys last seen my last previous video of uh, my Jax WWE figure, loose figure collection so far. And then on top of that, you guys also saw the uh, only Mattel figure that was in the whole collection. I recently got some more loose figures for my Jax collection uh, that I wanted to show you guys on camera. Uh, so without further ado, we'll go ahead and jump into it real quick. This should be a short video. Um, take you here. Get at the focus. We got a women's championship belt. Got a ring bell. We got. Just open this up because uh, I didn't realize that the inside of the bubble uh, that the figures was in was actually yellowed. But we got the referee Shawn Michaels from the Adrenaline 2 pack. Refer the uh, referee Shawn Michaels. Back. There's a side with his tattoo face. He came with uh, the Trish Stratus here. Good figures. Uh, we have another Adrenaline 2 pack of Eddie Guerrero. Says Latino on his backside of there. Pretty cool figure. Uh, trying to get this arm tattoo. There's his arm tattoo. I'm not sure if they put that on any of his other figures, but you never know. He came with uh, this Booger T right here in the in the black attire or in, in the black trunks with the tattoos. Uh, who else did I not show? Another adrenaline two pack. We got a Shelton Benjamin. Decent figure. Uh, where is his tag team partner? Oh, here he is. He came with, uh, Charlie Haas here. Bearded Charlie Haas. We got a Ring Rage Ruthless Aggression Chris Benoit. Came with a tag team title. Says for real on the side of his pants. The little Wolverine logos. Came with the tag team championship belt. Same series or uh, the same set, same series. Uh, Ring Rage, Ruthless Aggression. We got Triple H, no beard. Came with the world title. Pretty, pretty okay figure. I uh, got this one at my local McKay bookstore. We got Edge and R3 Tech figure. I do have this one sealed. If you guys saw the unboxing video of uh, this figure uh, sealed on, on card, it was part of the draft set for SmackDown. Uh, here it is, loose. This is not the one that I have in my collection. This is one I got from McKay's. They have a little loose figure thing up there for WWE stuff. So, uh, also got this uh, Bradshaw figure. Same place. I don't think I've showed these ones off in a video. Uh, this is from another journal and two pack. We got Santino Morella. He came with this Maria. See if I can't get her name to focus in. Come on now. Trying to get this to focus. I can't get it to focus on her name. Don't mind my dog right there. Don't, don't, don't. Get away. Get, get. Dog trying to play with the bell over here. Don't mind her. Try and get this to focus on her trunks here. It says Maria. You can kind of see it. Not really. There you go. Right there. Perfect. Says Maria right there on the trunks. She came with a Santino. 
uh, who else? I want to say this Taz. Uh, I opened this up. It was part of the SmackDown figures. Let's see what the back of his shirt says. The mood is about to change, Taz. Uh, I never did show this one off. This is from the King of the Ring. WWF figures. Comes with a European Championship. Matt Hardy. Here's another one. This was the uh, Sunday Night Heat. Sunday Night Heat, uh, Kurt Angle. His gold medals and down in the box somewhere. I'm not sure where it's up. Don't mind all the kids hollering next door. So, there goes thing. I want to say these are the last figures. No, I got one more in there. After these two. Uh, this is the Sunday Night Heat 2-pack, the famous scenes, the ladder match. Come on, focus on there. Come on. There we go. Got Triple H in the purple tights. Never knew a Triple H figure just to have a goatee. He don't have a... There's no beard on this side. Yeah, see, it's just a... It's just a goatee. Never seen Triple H with a goatee or with just a goatee, but it is what it is, I guess. There you go. He came with uh, The Rock. I was a little uh, confused about this figure because they did not put his Barama Bull tattoo on this one. I didn't understand that myself. There's The Rock right there. Flip it on the back. There's the Brahma Bull logo. You can kind of see it. Elbow pads are falling down. He came with that Triple H. This was a part of the uh, Sunday Night Heat uh, famous scenes of the ladder match. And I believe there's one more figure in here I got to show off. All the way tucked down at the very bottom. Last figure. Uh. It does have the Titan Tron things on his feet. This was a Sunday Night Heat figure of Crash Holly. Rest in peace. Came with a hat. So yeah, that was just a short clip of uh, the newer loose figures I've gotten uh, since then. As you guys can see, I've already I've already showed off all these on my channel. Uh, just in case, I'm not sure if I ever showed these two off. These were from the Royal Rumble from WWF. We have a Triple H. I'm not sure if I showed these off or not, but they'll be in this video. Uh, this figure is not a Tron. I guess the little black things on the feet. And then the last figure, I'm not sure if I've shown him off either. He was also a friend of the Royal Rumble set. You got the William Regal with the Intercontinental Championship, the purple strap. Not sure why this has a purple strap on it, but it is what it is. This was Jack's back in the day. One of my favorite toy companies, other than the people who make the newer figures. I'm not into the new stuff, but there's William Regal. All right, if you guys enjoy this video, give it a like, give it a comment. Let me know what you guys think of the small little extra loose figure uh, collection going on here. Uh, and if you enjoy the video, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, y'all. See you.